over here is my old power supply and over here is my old multimeter but i think that is the time for making some upgrade And with this, I will replace my old equipment. So what I have over here is some power supply and some multimeter from Regal company. And to be a little bit more precise, over here I have this DP832A power supply. And over here I have this DM3058 multimeter from Regal. And actually I need to say some big thank you to Regal company because they support my work of making batteries like for example Hyperflow battery, the Val battery, Nemo battery and actually all the work which I do here in this channel. So for this reason they sent me this power supply and this multimeter. And I also need to point out that the guys which are working on the Regal company, they are super nice and also really supportive. And for this reason, they gave me some discount code for the Regal products for you guys. And now this will be my first try of using the Regal products. And for the first use, I was thinking to use this power supply to charge up this uh, zinc iodine battery. So here I have some prototype of this uh, zinc iodine test cell and with this power supply I will charge up this cell so first I need to connect uh, the charging cables so and now I will turn on the power supply and the multimeter. At this moment I'm a little bit rusty of using this power supply because it is my first time actually but I will do my best. Um, so this power supply have actually three channels which you can see over here or over here and uh, the output power of the first two channels is 30 volts and 3 amps and the third channel have the output of 5 volts and 3 amps. But because I put the cables in the first channel, for this reason I need to turn on the first channel. So over here you can turn on and off uh, all the channels. So if I turn on the first channel, like so, then on this screen uh, this first channel will highlight. So if I turn on also the second channel, you can see also here on this display, uh, the second channel is highlighted and the same will go with the third channel, which is really nice. And now what I need to do is actually to set uh, the voltage and the current. So if I want to set the voltage right now for the first channel, then for the voltage I need to press this button and for the current I need to press this button. So voltage, current. And uh, to set the voltage I will do over here. So just for example, uh, right now I use this a prototype using out in battery for this reason I will charge up this cell with let's say 1.75 uh, volts and then I need to press OK so the voltage is set and now I will set the current the current which I will use will be 0 0.300 amps which is actually 300 milliamps and or here you can see uh, that the voltage is set to 1.75 volts and the current is set to 0 0.3 amps and now for example if I also have the second cell which I want to charge then I will turn on uh, the second channel uh, but at this moment if I set uh, some 
uh, voltage values then I will do this for the first channel because uh, if I want to set the voltage and the current for the second channel I need to press this button so at this moment I will set all the values for the second channel so right now if I press this one then I will set the values for the third channel so just for example if I want to charge the second battery uh, and the battery will be on now some nickel iron battery then I will charge this nickel iron battery with 1.65 watts and the current will be on no, 1 amp for example okay now the voltage and also the current are set and now I will start to charge this cell so this cell uses one gram of active material and in the end I will see what I will get okay great so the cell is charged uh, and now I will check what will be the voltage and of course what will be the short current of this cell so first of all measure the voltage and the voltage right now is 1.74 volts um, so this is because I just uh, put down the cell from my uh, power supply and the voltage need to settle down uh, but now I will also uh, see how much current I can get out from this cell uh, so I need to change to the current so the cell have one gram of active material oh and I get the current of 3 amps and now I also want to know if I also get the right capacity which is meant for this type of battery uh, because uh, the charging uh, time with this post by was a little bit shorter than I get uh, the charging time on my old power supply and actually the charging capacity of this type of battery is around 100 uh, milliamp hours per gram uh, or 150 milliwatt hours per gram of active material and after a little bit more than two hours of discharging I get the capacity of 114 milliamp hours and the energy of 155 milliwatt hours. So guys, that's it for now and we see us in the next video. Bye.